Hello and welcome to my third attempt at making this video. It has taken so many times because I'm building a project and I need it to be understandable by programmers and no grammars. So you want to build a multiplayer game, but programming a network is hard. So let me take you through the super easy way to build a network, specifically in Java. If you're not a programmer, don't worry, I'm going to go one step at a time so you can keep up. So the super easy way, and the point of this video, is to use a networking library I've been building up recently called Pocket Network. If you want to use it, it'll be available by the end of July. If you don't know squat about networking, or even programming, it's super easy to get into, and the point of this video. Starting up a server on Pocket Network is as easy as saying, s initialize server. Connecting to the server is as easy as calling, connect to server. That's it, two functions and you've connected a client and a server. Pocket Network does all the underlying work, sets up all the channels, manages all clients, and tracks your server IP import. I've thrown up a little chat demo just to prove to you that it does work. Then the client just has to talk to the server and the server has to talk to the clients. This is as easy as calling message from the client side. It'll send a little message down to the server and then you'll give the server a handler, which is basically passing a function through to my library, which will handle any messages and send things back to the clients. You keeping up so far? Great, because you can send two message types. This is the part where it gets a little more complicated, but you'll keep up, I promise you. When you call send message from either the client or the server, you can specify to send message along TCP or UDP. These are protocols that decide how the message is sent around your network. Imagine this map is your network. All the little dots are lots of little routers that have to route all the data from your client to your server. If you choose to send by TCP, then the message will select one route and every little bit of that message will take that one route, regardless of how congested it gets or how slow it is. So TCP is slow, but it is super reliable. This makes it brilliant for things like chat messages or important details like names or IDs. Things that absolutely have to be perfectly right when they get to the other end. Now, if you choose to send your message by UDP, it takes a very different route. See, when you send a message, it doesn't actually send it all at once. It splits it up into lots of different packages, and then, when they all get to the other end, reconfigures them into the message that you sent. TCP sends this very linearly and all on one route, which is why it's so reliable. Conversely, UDP will send its packages out independently and they will all try and find the fastest route possible. So when the packages arrive at the server, they do not arrive in the same order and they might not even arrive at all. This makes UDP very fast, but less reliable. So we've got TCP, which is slow, reliable, and great for very important high accuracy messages. And UDP, which is very fast but very scrabbled and less reliable, making it great for high frequency messages that demand a fast response time, like movement in a first person shooter or turning in a racing game. So using this library, we can start up a server, start up a client, connect the two, and send messages between them. It can also do a bunch of other cool stuff like handle users that disconnect or handle servers that disconnect, handle client IDs in the background which you can easily reference in your game or program. We won't cover those here because this is a basic overview, but now you know enough to understand what the library does at least. If you're a programmer, I hope you find this useful. If you're not, I hope you found this educational. The library will be out on my website, tomsoftwares.com, by the end of July. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and please keep an eye out for the next video. This has given me great pleasure.